This is a tutorial about adding stoplights to your Milestones professional schedule. With a stoplight chart, you can easily see the status of your project at a glance. This is a great feature when you're presenting your projects. To get started with adding stoplights to your schedule, first click on the Insert tab in Milestones Professional. Then click the New Column button and choose Stoplight. For this example, we'll choose the standard stoplight option. This means that when you enter the number 1 into the column, it will appear as a green circle. 2 is yellow, 3 is red, and 4 is blue. This option works great for most stoplight charts. Then, we're going to choose a symbol size. I will change this to the number 2 for this presentation. Then I'll press OK. Milestones will ask you if you want to add a circle to your toolbox. I will press Yes. Then I will press OK. Now I've got my stoplight column on the schedule. And now we can add numbers 1 through 4 to get the appropriate color. Using the text tool, on the top row I'm going to click in the cell and enter number 1. And I can press Enter to move to the next cell, and you can see that it filled with a green circle. Then I'll choose 2, it'll be yellow, 3 will be red, and 4 will be a blue circle. That was our basic stoplight column. You can also customize the way your stoplights look. Let's add another stoplight column to show what we mean. Choose the Insert tab, New Column, and Stoplight again. This time choose Custom Stoplight instead of Standard. Also we're going to check the checkbox down here labeled Fill the Cell with Color instead of displaying a symbol. Use the drop down box to choose the appropriate colors and text for the appropriate numbers. For example, when you enter 1, the scheduled cell will become green and it will say ahead. For number 2, it will be yellow and say OK. And for number 3, it will be red and say behind. Now I'm going to press OK and press OK again. And now when I use the T tool on the toolbox, I can enter a 1, a 2, and a 3. And you'll see that instead of using these standard circles, it's going to have text, and the cell will also be filled with color. I'll show you a couple examples to give you an idea of what other people create with stoplights. Here's an example of using custom stoplight symbols instead of circles. This schedule shows a variety of stoplight columns and custom stoplight cells in the same chart. With Milestones Professional, it's easy to show project status at a glance. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and remember to visit our website at kidasa.com or email support at kidasa.com with any questions. Thanks for watching.